Hey guys, what is going on? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a great PvE build that you guys can use in any endgame activity that's really, really great. As an example, this works in Grandmasters, Raids, Master Empire Hunts, and all those other cool things. This build is fairly easy to set up for a new player. It doesn't require too much or anything insane. I'll show you guys what I'll be using. So for the subclass, I'm going to be using Revenant Hunter. I have Gambler's Dodge, Strafe Jump, Withering Blade, and then the Dusk Field Grenade. Dusk Field Grenade is really great as it allows you to slow your targets and freeze them when they don't leave the grenade fast enough, which in PvE, they 90% of the time don't leave it fast enough. And then I have the Shadow Dive aspect and the Winter Shroud aspect, and then the Whisper of Conduction, as well as the Whisper of Chains. This is going to give me my grenade back a little bit faster, and this is also going to track my position, give me 10 Reasel as well as 10 Elect. The next thing I'm going to be using is the Biting Winds Bow. The role I have is Swashbuckler, Killing Wind, as well as straight flinching, polymorph string, and then a stability, and then quick access link because those usually get in PvP. But obviously, this thing works great in PvE. Check out a minor spec or even a boss spec, works great. The way this is obtained is through the Europa. You guys can go to Varics and start the quest quick and easy. And then I'm using the Cartesian coordinate. This is the biggest part of the build, in my opinion. I'm using Whirlpool, Feeding Frenzy, Liquid Coils, Clean Shot IS, as well as the Handling Master with Boss Spec. Then I'm using the Gallahorn. This build focuses more towards Ad Clear. It's great for boss DPS as well. So, Gallahorn's really great for uh, boss DPS. Me personally, I haven't finished the Catalyst yet because I've been a little busy, but yeah. Now for the helmet, I have Rocket Launcher Ammo Finder, Fusion Rifle Ammo Finder, and then this is where the build kicks off at, Aeon Swifts. I checked on a resilience mod and then overload and unstoppable fusions. But you guys want to put on the sect of insight mod as this is going to give you ammo, heavy ammo specifically, every time you finish a yellow bar enemy. So this is going to guarantee you tons of heavy for your team as well as you. So this works really great. This is how I did my GM. I cleared the average GM in 10 minutes. Now if you guys don't have the 30th anniversary, you guys can also use 1000 voices. That works fine. 1000 voices is really great as well for this. And then the next thing on the chest plate that I have is rocket launcher reserves, fusion rifle reserves, and then higher energy fire. Higher energy fire busts your damage when you get charged with light. And then on my boot I have Fusion Scavenger, Rocket Launcher Scavenger, and then on my cloak I have Partial Destruction and Focusing Lens. So this is my meta PvE build. I think this personally works the best for Ad Clear and DPS, as Galahorn's pretty decent in those kind of activities. But yeah, if you guys are going to try this build out, leave some feedback in the comments. If you guys think there's anything I can do to improve these type of videos, or even maybe, you know, suggestions for future videos. But this is, in my opinion, 100% the best build. I've been farming Palindrome all weekend. This is really, really cool. I've done about three GMs in, like, about an hour, rough, not an hour, probably... 30 minutes. Took about 10 minutes each GM, so pretty easy, quick, and self explanatory. I don't mind doing it. It's pretty quick and easy, but yeah. Like always, have a great day. Peace. Thanks for watching.